Good morning. Welcome in. It is time once again for the Martin Morning Report. It is a Thursday, March 7th. A little bit hoarse in the voice, but we're going to keep on rolling like a horse. That's what we do around here. All right. Let's get to five fast things from Wednesday in KMA land. We start out with number one, our performance. Oh, I better not steal any of that cereal. Of the day. Performance of the day goes to who else? Maggie Collins of Platte Valley. I don't know. This might be a two-timer now as Maggie Collins had 18 points, nine rebounds, three assists for Platte Valley yesterday in a state semifinal in Columbia and Platte Valley. No mascot moving on to the state championship game after a 30-point win over Liberal. Malia Bliley also had 12 points. Christina Turpin added 11. They are on to the state title game in Class 1 Missouri later on tonight against Northeast Cairo, which I thought was in Egypt. Here's Duncan, Turner's here, Hudson's over here. The party is getting started. On to number two, Class 1A state championship in the state of Iowa is set. 4A semifinals also set. They joined the 2A and the 3A semifinals in filling up. North Lynn last night beat Winfield Mount Union and Marquette Catholic, edge past Lake Mills, moving into Friday's final there in 1A. Also in 4A, Cedar Rapids, Kennedy, Ankeny, West Des Moines Valley, coached by Clarinda Lum and KMA Sports Hall of Famer BJ Windhorse, plus Pettendorf into the 4A semifinals. On the number three, 12 quarterfinal Nebraska winners yesterday. We're going to read them really, really fast. Are you ready, Duncan? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Here we go. Bellevue West, Omaha Central, Miller North, Westside, Amherst, Cross County, Norfolk Catholic, Lincoln, Lutheran, Shelton, Why Not, Maywood, Hayes Center, and Sumner, Eddieville, Miller. Slow down there at the end because there's a lot of words. On the number four, former KMA Landers, Bella Hogue of Conestoga, Noah Jorgensen, of Sydney and Gavin Smith of Audubon, all named all Midwest region by the United States Track and Field Cross Country Coaches Association yesterday. Hogue in the 60, the 200, and the 400, Jorgensen in the distance medley relay, the 800 and the mile, and Smith in the heptathlon because he's a dog like that. All right, on the number five, more KMA Landers, former KMA Landers that is, four of them named all Great Plains Athletic Conference for basketball. Can you believe it, Duncan? Yeah, he knew that. He knew it was coming. Connor Sudman, a first-teamer, the former trainer standout, now at Briar Cliff. Madison Camden, Glenwood alum, now at College of St. Mary. And Lily Bollardson, Syracuse alum, now at Morningside. Plus Aiden Vanderloo, a Sioux City East alum, and now at Morningside, all named honorable mention. Those are five fast things from the world of KMA Land Sports on Wednesday. Today, big, big day, trainer Western Christian on KMA FM 99.1 at 10.30 a.m. You going to listen, Duncan? Got school. It's got school. Plus three, Nebraska State quarterfinals involving KMA land teams today. Ashland Greenwood plays Donovan Trumbull at 1.30 in C1. Auburn plays Douglas County West at 3.15 at, in C1. And Johnson Brock meets Riverside. Not the Riverside you're thinking of, Turner. It's the one in Nebraska. Six o'clock start. And Ryan Matheny is there for all of them there at the Devaney Center. Plus, we mentioned Platte Valley girls going for that Class 1 state championship. They won it all in 2022 and 2021. So they're going for three out of four. They were runner-up in 2020. Third last year. Back at the championship game this year. And then also today, the Iowa Association of Track and Field Coaches Indoor Championships in Ames. It involves a whole host of schools. It's the boys today. Must be the girls tomorrow. That's it for the Martin Morning Report. We'll talk to you tomorrow and wrap up a huge day of KMA Land basketball. Nothing but big games today involving KMA Land teams. Have a great Thursday.